check out this cold spot in the middle here. Hey guys, today we're talking about kind of a first world problem here. Uh, so many cars, many, many new cars have wireless phone charging um, under the dash, including this Tesla here. Tesla has integrated this awesome dual phone charger here. I think it's 15 watts across two pads right here. Uh, but the problem with wireless charging is, is of course it creates more heat than wire charging. And whenever I find when I'm driving with my phone here, uh, especially when the screen is on, if I'm navigating, if I have Waze uh, running and it's charging, and maybe the sun is coming in through the windows and hitting the phone, the phone gets very hot. You may have seen when your phone overheats, the background starts to dim when it gets very dark. And at a certain point, it gets so hot that it even shuts off and there's a message that says, hey, your phone is too hot. We're gonna resume when it cools down. Uh, so actually, a company called Joa had sent me this phone holder to test. Uh, so Joa has been building these, uh, what they call 6D, really flexible phone mounts for some time now. But this newest one actually has active cooling. So I wanted to see and put it to the test. And I thought, okay, active cooling, uh, some new cars, I think from Hyundai, have uh, fans behind their phone chargers to blow air over the top of the phone. Um, so I thought, okay, maybe this one does the same thing. It uses the fan to circulate air around the phone, cooling it down. Uh, but it's actually, um, as I found out, much cooler technology than that. Uh, so what we have here is actually under this magnetic MagSafe mount, uh, so you can see my iPhone 13 just sticks to the back of it. We have uh, MagSafe charging. So this is common to pretty much many products. Uh, also compatible with Qi 2 for Android phones. So Android phones with magnetic rings can stick to them. But in the center of the mount, we have a Peltier uh, thermoelectric, basically heat pump. So what this does is a Peltier named after Jean Peltier, French uh, physicist is it's a plate that passes electricity through it and one side of the plate becomes cooler than ambient temperature whereas the back of the plate becomes hotter than ambient temperature. So in effect, it's a heat pump. Uh, when electricity flows through it, it moves heat from one side uh, to the other side. So it's not new technology, but in terms of um, this application, I thought this was really neat uh, because the phone basically generates more heat when it's wirelessly charging. The phone generates more heat when the screen is on and something is running. And obviously um, in a car environment, if we have it mounted behind the screen here, um, it's gonna be um, heating up due to the sun load hitting the phone. So what this will do is actually, it will remove the heat from the phone side with the Peltier element, move it to the back of the phone where we have a fan that expels the heat away. I've actually done my own kind of controlled experiment at home where I had my phone cool down to ambient temperature. I, I put my phone on the charger for, for 20 minutes uh, in airplane mode. I wanted to make sure there's nothing backing up or any background tasks. And after 20 minutes, with the active cooling switched off, um, the back of the phone reached about 34, 35 degrees Celsius. And then I switched on the active heating element here, you could see that there's a switch uh, that says turbo. And uh, after the same, again, after like ambient temperature charging for 20 minutes, I noticed that the back of the, of the phone was actually just about 32, 33 degrees Celsius. So cooler charging. But then I noticed that actually I had gained more charge in the turbo mode versus in the standard mode. And what I found out is actually is that um, it delivers about 10 watts while in the normal mode and, and 15, the full 15 watts comes in the turbo mode. So not only was it delivering more power in the second test, but it was actually staying cooler despite having more heat coming to the phone. So the active cooling on this mount does appear to be actually working. Um, on the way here today, I charged my phone basically from dead to 80%. Um, and although the phone was actually, uh, it did get a bit warm, it wasn't anywhere near as hot as it normally does from fast wireless charging. Uh, so I am pretty impressed with this product. Uh, maybe the only downside is that um, it is a bit more pricey than uh, other phone mounts for Tesla, but it is a high quality product. 
Uh, it can basically hide behind your screen when you don't want it. And they give you a very long USB-C cable. So you can route your cables basically behind this trim here and plug it to the back USB port in the back of the cart. Uh, so you're not, you don't have to keep this uh, door open to have wireless charging. Uh, so I think it is a pretty cool implementation and uh, I'm really impressed with it. If you're interested in this active cooling phone mount um, from Joa, you could check a link in the description. I believe I will have um, a promo code in here for a little discount as well if you're curious. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.